the Soda Beam's 2 meter band pass filter. First look and live test on cheap Chinese radio. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, uh, using a different mic, so the audio might sound a bit different. It's got a windshield on it as well. One of those really furry ones, so that might actually help. And the acoustics in this room aren't great, so just bear with. And we've got here the Soda Beam's 2 meter band pass filter. Now, I've heard good things about these. The idea of this is you screw it in line with the antenna and your handheld radio, or, well, any radio for receiving the 2 meter band. You can transmit with this thing in line as long as it's no more than about 5 watts. Any more, well, yeah, we know what happens there. So, it's rated to about 5 watts if you want to transmit while you've still got that in line. So, it's supposed to get rid of the vast majority of interference on the 2 meter band. I have tested it crudely with an FM broadcast signal, which it pretty much eliminated. That was on 106.9 megahertz. That's the frequency used in Catrick Garrison for BFBS, British Forces Broadcasting. So this is a military town, so BFBS actually are present here. The, name, the clues in the name. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a test rig and we're going to see if this actually will work to get rid of some things like pager noise because one of my radios that I don't use anymore is kind of susceptible to that on the two meter band. So it might be worth giving it a try and seeing if it actually gets rid of all of that. So I'm going to set that up. Right, so I've set up a radio I know is susceptible to pager noise. This is a QIT KT8900D. Now, obviously with a filter, I'm not going to be transmitting using that, which is why there's no microphone on this. So if I turn this up, this is on the ISS frequency. And it's supposed to be something happening today, but I've not been able to hear anything from that yet. And uh, you can just say here in the background the pager noise. Let's go through other two meter channels. These aren't two meters, as the ISS repeater. That one's all right. It's just getting over the noise, but you can just say sort of hear it in the background. This is two meter simplex. Yeah, you can hear that quite badly there. Yeah, the VV898 I've got that I'm using as an eye gate is actually far worse for this. Which is why I've never had much luck look on a 2 meter simplex. I'll just turn it down a bit so you can hear me talking, but I'm not sure how directional this microphone is. So, so I'm going to connect the filter to that and see if that makes a difference. It'll be through a couple of adapters, so there might be some losses as well. So let's see what happens. Right, I've got the filter in line now, so it has made some improvement. I'm not hearing pager noise on top of anything now. Now this radio's got a very odd adjustment for channel change. I'm ignore the ISS repeat frequencies, because I don't need those right now. Normally I can't hear that because it's swamped by pager noise. But today, that was clear. So... Yeah. So, that filter is, does its job, it works, it does exactly what it says on the tin, or the box, or whatever, <laughs> or the bags, it came in a plastic bag actually. It's connected through some adapters, so it might introduce a bit of loss, and this coax cable is feeding the filter into the radio. So that's GB3CD. I can't obviously transmit through that because this radio on low power is about 10 watts off the top of my head. And uh, that would uh, would blow that up because that's only rated to take 5 watts through it. Now there's something on S17 as well in stock. Turn, not S17, V17. That one. No, that was being swamped by pager noise but it isn't now. So that's V17, that one, not S17. And I get the S numbers and the V numbers mixed up. It's pretty annoying. Because S17 
is actually there. <laughs> so it's V17, not S17. I don't like the fact that it's two two different names for for the two meter channels. It's kind of confusing. <laughs> That's 70 so that It's not really applicable here. So. I'm confident this filter works as intended. It does what it says on the tin. So if I'm out on the hills with a bow feng, or anywhere with a bow feng that where it's going to probably get desensed, then this might improve it. Was there something there? Yes, there was. That would normally be being overridden by pager noise. There's nothing there. That is clear. That's perfectly readable. Thank you, Soto Beams, for making something that will help us that like to go on hills or anywhere with cheap Chinese radios. Stop them being, well, overrun by pager noise. That is actually brilliant. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not sure where they're located, but this is good. So uh, the reason why I didn't do it with the 991A is because that's got really adequate filtering. So <laughs> can deal with this stuff a bit better than these cheap Chinese radios. So with the cheap Chinese ones, well, you get what you pay for, but there is always a solution. Let's turn the volume down a bit now. So, yeah, I'm impressed with that. It will certainly be going with me to Blackpool. Um, if I do operate from the top of the tower, that will be a good thing to try this thing with. Because I might actually do that. I'm, I've got a bit more confidence going up there with the radio now. <laughs> that would be fun. Because I would like to actually activate Blackpool Tower because it's something I've always wanted to do. But when I saw the video on Ringway Manchester, Baofeng, The Fatal Floor, at the time I only had Baofengs and, uh, you know. But I'd already decided against it at that point anyway. And it, was a, and it turned out it was a good thing. But we can see if this solves the problem. It's just tucked in there, though. So I'll pause the video while I take it out because I'm actually now done. So there you have it, guys. The Soda Beam's 2 meter band pass filters. It's designed primarily for use with handheld radios, which is why I've got a little adapter like uh, when I bring it in. This is connected to this other adapter at the moment. It's just out of focus there because it's not quite where I've got the focus set. So. Do I recommend it? Well, so far I do, yes. Go out and buy them. I'll pop a link to the listing on Soda Beams for that. In fact, I might be able to get the price up. So I do have my own mobile phone to hand. So if I can do that off camera. Um, do you want to calculate the pass of the... Oh, that's not as helpful. It's uh, calculating the wrong satellite. No, I couldn't hear anything. Okay. Um, So, where's the web browser so I can find out the price for this for you? <laughs> Should have written it down before I um, uh, went, started filming, but I didn't. Um, so, the beams. And this came through pretty quickly, actually. Uh, there we go. So it's forty four ninety five for the for this bandpass filter. So that's forty four ninety five inclusive of VAT here in the UK. So other outlets may sell this for cheaper or more, depending. Because I know Soda Beams do do have places in other countries that buy the products and sell them on to those markets. So this certainly does the job. It got rid of all the pager noise out of this, despite it being through a few adapters and other things. So I would recommend it so far. <laughs> so that's probably the first video I've done in a while um, because of technical issues with the last one I was working on. But I think I might have those technical issues ironed out. So that will be coming up in due course, but for now, it's Paul, Mike, Zero, Whiskey, November, Uniform, or 26, Charlie, Tango, 730, if you catch me on 11 metres and PMR 446, or just on the old CB, just call me the Red Squirrel if you like. <laughs> so, yeah, 
temporary for now. I'll be at the Blackpool Rally. I'll definitely be there because I'm all booked to go. And if you're there, say hi. I will probably most likely be filming with this new setup that I've got, which is a Joby Gorilla Pod and a microphone with lots of uh, fluffy windshielding on it, which is kind of necessary when you're filming outdoors, although the rally usually takes place indoors. So, some breeze for now, and if you're at the rally, I'll catch you there, and if not, I'll catch you in the next video. Some three for now, guys.